Today's review is on the JBL Bar 9.1 soundbar. This is a complete Dolby Atmos system that bundles a soundbar, a wireless subwoofer, plus a pair of wireless rear surround speakers into a convenient package that's easy to use. We think the Bar 9.1 is priced just right to be the perfect entry point into great home theater sound with the Dolby Atmos format. If you want to read more about the JBL Bar 9.1, be sure to click the link in the description to be taken to the full written review on audiovice.com. Along with this review, you'll find hundreds of other reviews, comparisons, buyer's guides, and much more. Now let's get started. Here at AudioVice, we've been helping people achieve immersive sounding movies and music in their home theaters for over 40 years. Back in 2014, we experienced this new surround sound format for the first time and we were really blown away. As we've mentioned in some of our previous videos, in order to get the full 3D experience that Dolby Atmos has to offer, speakers have to steer sound all around you and the effect is amazing when it's done right. Now that the list of new movies and TV shows encoded with Dolby Atmos are expanding on Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Disney Plus, we're really excited about all the new high performance soundbars that can present it. For a lot of people, the JBL Bar 9.1 will open the door into high performance cinema. This includes everything you'll need for an immersive Dolby Atmos experience without breaking the bank. The first thing you'll notice is the smart design of this wireless surround sound system. As a package of four pieces bundled together, you get a soundbar with two wireless rechargeable rear speakers plus a wireless subwoofer. All the pieces in this bundle have matching rounded edges and a graphite finish that has just the right amount of sheen for a nice modern look. The Bar 9.1 is designed to sit under your TV or it can be wall mounted. We think that most people will probably just position this on top of a piece of furniture underneath their TV and the rear speakers on top of tables or even a pair of stands in the rear of the room. The rear surrounds are wireless and rechargeable, so when it's time to charge them, they just dock right into the magnetic charging stations on the sides of the bar, and in about three hours, they'll be ready for 10 hours of playtime. With the rear speakers attached, the bar spans 47 inches wide, but when you remove these, the bar spans just shy of 35 inches. Visually, this will look great with TVs that are 43 inches or more. The front panel of the Bar 9.1 features a simple but modern looking grill. Behind the grill is where you'll also find the LED display that tells you the status of the system. We like how the LEDs only illuminate when there's something important such as the selected inputs or the battery levels of the detachable wireless rear speakers. This keeps the user experience simple and helps eliminate distractions. The back of the soundbar is where all the inputs and outputs are tucked away. From left to right, there's a power connection, a USB Type-A port, an optical Toslink input, an Ethernet port, one HDMI eARC output, and one HDMI input. The Bar 9.1 also supports Chromecast, Apple AirPlay, and Bluetooth, so with this, you could stream music from an iPhone, a tablet, or a computer directly to the bar and throw a house party or just relax inside a bubble of immersive musical sound. On top of the bar, four soft push buttons let you power the soundbar on or off, raise and lower the volume, and cycle through each of the source inputs. Overall, the buttons have a durable pro-level feel to them, and we like the way JBL just keeps everything simple. Finally, on top of the unit, there are two small ventilation ports where the calibration microphones capture the unique acoustic properties of your room. At AudioVice, we're big fans of room calibration and correction, so the Bar 9.1 scores major points for including this. The Bar 9.1 is a nine channel surround sound system that comes with a single sub bass channel, hence the numbers in the name Bar 9.1. We'll break down what these numbers and channels really mean and why this is cool. But first, let's talk about that subwoofer. The size of the wireless sub makes the biggest statement in this system. The subwoofer stands a little over 17 inches tall, 12 inches wide, and 12 inches deep. It weighs in at 24 and a half pounds because there's a massive 10 inch down firing transducer housed inside the unit that will deliver deep floor shaking low end. To present sound across a full range of frequencies, JBL uses an array of drivers to present sound from 34 hertz to 20 kilohertz with a maximum SPL of 103 decibels. JBL doesn't provide a plus or minus point on the 34 hertz, so we're not sure if the sub really gets that low, but it sure feels like it. Three front facing speakers provide the horizontal left, center, and right channels, while four height channels fire sound up to the ceiling for that top to bottom sense of vertical elevation. 
Then JBL goes the extra mile by giving you two more surround sound channels in the rear speakers. So when the rear surround speakers are placed in the back of your room, you'll be completely immersed in a nine channel bubble of 3D sound. When placing the rears around your room, we recommend positioning each one onto a flat surface, such as a tabletop or speaker stand, so that the Atmos speakers can fire sound upwards to the ceiling. You'll also want to make sure that there's nothing in the way, such as a plant or a lampshade that could obstruct the sound waves from reaching your ceiling. The room I tested this in was right here, which is a pretty typical living room space that's about 12 feet wide, 16 feet deep, and 9 foot tall ceilings. After the bar 9.1 blasted out a few test tones, the microphones built inside the soundbar captured the acoustic properties of this living space in less than a few minutes. The first thing I knew I had to demo was music. I played a lot of different genres, and while everything I played immersed me in great surround sound, I noticed modern recordings really shine on this system. One of the tracks that stood out was Good Thing, which was released in 2019 by an indie rock group called Shore Shore for their second studio album titled What's It Like? When I raised the volume, this presented sound that was room filling enough to throw a great house party. Even when I walked into the kitchen, this whole open floor plan was completely covered with sound. I would have liked to have seen more EQ features for shaping the sound, however, while not quite the same as an EQ, the remote control JBL concludes does offer some ways to customize the sound field. These include raising or lowering the volume of the sub and the rear surround channels. The sub was pretty powerful, so level 3 was perfect for this room, but it's nice knowing you can really push this to impress your friends at your next neighborhood friendly party. There's also a dedicated button that will let you raise and lower the entire Atmos effect in the room depending on how high your ceilings are. Settings for low, mid, and high change the vertical Atmos sense of elevation for dramatic effect. High is best for ceilings higher than 10 feet, so I decided mid was the perfect setting for my room with nine foot tall ceilings, but this was just my personal preference. Next, we chose a scene from Marvel Studios' The Avengers Infinity War. At the beginning of the movie, there's an epic fight scene between two superheroes. If you haven't seen the movie, don't worry, I won't give away any spoilers, but I will tell you that fight scenes are presented with bone-crushing weight. Punches and kicks were very impactful and convincing. The sub delivered thrilling low-end energy that completely immersed me in the fight. Overall, the Atmos speakers surrounding us did a really nice job presenting soundtracks in the height channels so that it sounded like orchestras were playing directly above me. From talking with our customers, we know how excited people are getting about Dolby Atmos. People want better sound than their TV speakers can provide. And as television and movies start to prioritize Dolby Atmos and streaming, this trend is the future. However, not everyone has the space for an entire system of separate speakers and a home theater receiver, so it's really cool to see how far some of these high-performance soundbars have come. Soundbars are more mobile and affordable than a full surround sound installation. And while not quite the same, there are a few of them that can offer a comparable sound. For less than $1,000, JBL gives you the whole Atmos experience complete with a soundbar, a subwoofer, plus rear speakers. When you compare this to other systems, it stands out as a total package for the money. Similar systems might include a sub, but the rears are usually optional add-ons and more expensive after you expand some of these other systems. At this price point, we like that there's no extra wires or extra power connections needed. The battery-powered rear surrounds are not only convenient, they added more to the experience without having to spend any extra money. They did a nice job recreating the elevation in our soundstage, but it was the exhilarating bottom end weight from the sub that over-delivered on performance. If you have a large space that could use room-filling sound, we see this fitting in well for entertaining guests, throwing dance parties, or just relaxing in front of a great movie. Adding any soundbar to your TV watching for movies, shows, sports, or music adds a lot more to the experience but we do think the JBL Bar 9.1 represents one of the most convenient solutions for a complete Dolby Atmos experience and for a great price. So if you have any questions regarding this high performance soundbar or any other home audio or home theater gear, be sure to give us a call, chat with one of our experts at audiovice.com or stop into one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina locations. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on the latest home audio or home theater content. Until then, we'll see you next time.
Thank you.